water, of course, a big issue, especially at our lakes today. A lot of people off work for the day trying to find some enjoyment outdoors. Lake Hartwell, for example, full of boaters. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford was there riding along with the Department of Natural Resources as they made sure people were staying safe. County officials say 10.5 million people visit Lake Hartwell every year. Now with that many people on the water, DNR officers were out in full force here in Anderson County for one of the busiest holidays on the water. It was a sunny day with just a few showers for those out on Lake Hartwell enjoying their holiday. We're going to grill, we're going to swim, and we're going to fish. But before these fun activities could begin, some boaters received a visit from some DNR officers. Hey folks, I'm Officer Hannah with South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Just want to do a quick safety equipment inspection. I see the four kids have their life jackets on. Let me see three adult Coast Guard approved life jackets. One of the violations officers have seen a number of times this summer is kids wearing life jackets that are not approved for the activity they are doing in the water. If you're in a race car, you don't want a lap belt. You want a five point harness. So some of these life jackets that people have put their kids on the back of a tube, go 40 miles an hour, and you try to make your kid fall into the lake. Kid falls off a, a tube at 40 miles an hour, and he doesn't have the right life jacket on. The life jacket's going to come off. To make sure people are following these rules and staying safe, five DNR officers were out on Lake Hartwell. Excellent, excellent. Good, good to go. Performing these safety checks. Last 12 months, Lake Hartwell suffered seven fatalities between South Carolina and Georgia. We're really focusing on the boating under the influence enforcement, and we're definitely making sure that everybody's got their life jackets. We are uh, not cutting any slack when it comes to the personal flotation devices. When it comes to avoiding other boats and knowing who has the right of way, Hannah says it's best for both boats to slow down and stop and take in their surroundings. No lines on the water. There's no street light or street stop signs. There's no uh, traffic signals. And so everybody's just zipping around, having a good time, not paying attention. Next thing you know, we got a collision and there's people in the water. Now, if you have any specific questions related to boating safety or what you need to have on your boat when heading out onto any waters here in South Carolina, you can find more information on the South Carolina DNR website. At Lake Hartwell, Nicole Ford, 7 News.